Salute Trey Game Team, what's happening? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time of the day it is you watch this. Let's get into this video, but before I do, let's take care of the business. Okay, so there's a disc called Flash Shell for the Bank Series for version one. If you haven't ever tried it, you wanted to get it, this is a good sale. The scanner and the robot bundle together, this is the non-talking version, or the scanner by itself. It's up to you which one you want to get. That sale will not last long, maybe a couple days. It's going to go down soon though, so get it. Now, a lot of y'all, for some reason, when I post this stuff, I tell y'all it's a flash sale. Flash sale means it's going to go away very fast. For some reason, y'all wait till it's gone, and then y'all hit me up and go, oh, well, where is such and such and such? You should have got it when you could, right? I understand that money's tight, so that's what this topic of this video is going to be about if you're in that situation. So let's get into the topic. Look, let me explain something to you guys, man, because a lot of y'all make this trading a lot harder than what it have to be. A lot of traders on this platform can't mess with me trading wise. I'm, I'm not going to try to be arrogant, but I'm also not going to sugarcoat it either. They can't. A lot of the people y'all follow and listen to on YouTube, they not touching me. They don't have the knowledge I have. They're not as in-depth as me. They got a strategy that gets people to subscribe, spend a couple dollars, buy a couple courses, and then they're good. Okay, cool. But as far as this trading, they can't mess with me trading wise. And the knowledge is, I'm way past them knowledgeable wise. I made up that word, by the way. I'm trying to sound smart, I just sound stupid. But anyway, I digress. You know what I mean. So anyway, look, I'm an older person anyway. I'm in my 40s. Of course, some dude in his 20s shouldn't be sitting up there thinking he's smarter than me. If he is, that means I did something wrong. Okay, so we're, we're not going to bash these younger dudes. I'm just explaining that we in two different calibers when it comes to trading. Just two different situations entirely. Okay, that's, that's, just, that's just what that is. Okay, so let's move on from that. Okay, so we got that out of the way. All right, look, so so some of y'all, right, when y'all be having hit me up, y'all be telling me what y'all want to do. And when I hear the plan and behind what you're trying to get done, the main problem I hear in what you're saying, and it's going to sound cruel what I'm about to say, but it's the truth. A lot of y'all don't have the money to lose, to learn, to trade. Y'all are even worried about wasting money on courses Y'all be waste, worried about wasting money on indicators, robots. And that's not even an issue. Y'all be worried about wasting money trading. That's the main issue right there out of the three. You are going to lose money. Just don't worry about it. It's going to come back to you when you figure it out. People used to say that to me and I didn't like it. I didn't like when I heard that saying. Oh, don't worry. You'll get that money back. Now I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they're saying now. Don't worry about the initial losses in trading. Education, okay, you want to put that in a separate field. You don't want to spend money on learning from nobody, fine. Okay, that's your prerogative. It'll just take longer, but you'll figure it out still. Uh, indicators and robots, you don't want to learn with those. You want to learn one of these other little strategies on YouTube? Okay, fine. Put that over there. But when you come to the trading part, and you guys are trading demo, uh, you're trading a 0 0.01, you are not feeling the pain that you need to feel to get through trading. You are not feeling what you need to feel to understand what it's like to not win and learn from that. Okay, so you gotta, y'all, what I'm gonna recommend for you guys who are in this boat, which is apparently majority y'all are in this boat, what I recommend for y'all is get a little bit more money. Get a little bit more money. Yes, don't stop trading. Stay in your demo. I'm not saying don't do that. The problem with the demo uh, trading is that the demo server is a little bit different than the real life server. So your reaction is going to be a little bit different. Then in the demo, what a lot of y'all do wrong, because you can trade in the demo and take that over to a live account and, and get the same results. That, that part about what people say that's not true, that's that, that I don't believe. However, though, what you will do and what you will teach yourself, you will teach yourself two things that are not good. You will teach yourself to over leverage and you will not use a, a account with the real amount of money. You need to put the real amount of money that you really plan on trading in that demo and trade it that way. Do not go to the demo and get a $100,000 account knowing you're gonna trade a hundred dollars okay because y'all guys are doing that don't do that because that's going to teach you to overtrade 
the first time you're gonna realize that that was a bad idea is when you get a strategy that's working in the demo, you flip 100K into a million dollars, and then you go to a prop firm and get steamrolled, and you're gonna wonder why. You're gonna think, oh, well, it's a scam. No, the prop firm is scamming me. That's a whole nother conversation about that, but for now, let's just stick to this topic. It's gonna be that way because when you go to the prop firm, they're gonna use a different leverage, and you're not gonna be accustomed to the leverage. That's why if you really wanna learn a trade, and I said this in the last podcast episode that's up now, check it out on Spotify, Apple, wherever you stream at. Check out the podcast episode. I did go into more detail about that than what I am going to do now. What it is, is that you you learn on that, that, that 1 to 50. That's what I learned on. That's going to help you. You guys are learning on a 1 to 500. And that's definitely not good for prop firms because prop firms are 1 to 50. So does it seem like it's not a big difference? You're going to say, yeah, that's not a big deal until you get margin called. Until you're in a trade and all of a sudden you get that one negative trade and all your trades get closed. You're going to start seeing your trades get closed. Like, yo, what happened? The broker's going to close you out because you're going to get margin called. To make up for the losses you're including, they're going to start closing your trades. The one that's blowing your account, they're going to close that. So then you're going to go wide and it's going to be the margin. It's going to be your risk. It's going to be your margin levels. You know, your risk assessment. That's why it's good to learn on a one 150. That's what I learned on, and I'm thankful for that because now I see why people can't pass these prop firm challenges. If you practice on a 150, you will be able to take a prop firm challenge because that are gonna that's gonna be the same exact leverage that they're gonna give you to trade against you. Okay, and I'm not saying that they're literally gonna trade against you. What I'm saying is they're gonna give you these bad these bad rules because offshore brokers are there's some offshore brokers I've seen at uh, one to one. I've seen offshore broker one time at one to 1500 i've seen 1500 before i have one offshore broker account that is live it's one to 1000 the the standard now is one to 500 and of course the only reason that keeps going down like this is people are starting to win trades there's people that's learning how to get around these things especially with these robots but with that being said you guys, if you don't have the money, right? This, this, you gotta, you gotta be careful because you need money to lose. It's like when you open a business, the first, they say every business, the first two years are unprofitable. I could attest to that from the business that I started, this, the software company. It's very true. Statistics are very true. They're, they're gonna be around that number. So you gotta look at trading like a business and you gotta have the same mindset that save up a couple dollars and, and come to this with a couple dollars to invest. And by invest, I mean lose. Now, if you're a business person, you're business savvy, you'll find ways to write some of these losses off on your taxes and things of that nature. You'll find ways to get this money back. You just got to get more business savvy and just pay attention so you know how to be smart about how you spend the money. But understand it's an investment. You're going to lose it. So and when you say you're going to lose it, it sounds negative, but you need to say you're investing in yourself because at some point you're going to get all that back and then some. So it is an investment if you stick to it. The only time it's a loss is if you put the money in and you walk away. Now it's a loss. Okay, so just look at trading like, hey man, there's three tiers. There's the education, there's the tools, which is the indicators and the robots. I sell the tools. I'm a hardware salesman and trader. And then you have the actual uh, loss of learning strategy. Okay, so you have the actual loss, the tools and the education. You don't want to buy the education? Fine. That means it's just going to take longer because you're educating yourself. You can educate yourself. You don't want to use the tools? Fine. There's free tools. They're not equal to pay tools, but you can still use free tools or no tools. Like I said, it's going to take you a little longer, but you'll figure it out. When it comes to the trading part now, where you guys are hitting me up telling me y'all been trading three years like me and y'all are not profitable, you probably fell into one of those categories that I just said about the trading, the over leveraging, and the over leveraging is a bad thing because risk to reward is very important and you learn that from low margins, okay? So if you have high margins, trust me, you are not learning risk to reward taking a broker that is giving you a one to 500. A lot of people don't talk about this on YouTube and I'm t I know why, We I beat, this is like beating a horse they don't want y'all to know that because if you learn that, then you'll learn how to win and then they can't make money off you. Okay, so I'm explaining this to y'all. I'm, exp I'm giving y'all information that 
a lot of people are not privy to because it's not being talked about. So you don't know it. You don't know this information unless someone tells it to you. So I'm helping y'all out by telling y'all that. So if you don't have the money to invest, then trading is something that's going to be very painful for you. And you probably more than likely will never become profitable. I know that sounds negative, but it's the truth. And I'm not telling you this to be negative. I'm telling you so you don't end up like that. Okay, so that's the purpose of me telling you this in this video. It's not for you to end up negative, lost, never profitable. It's to tell you what causes that and how to avoid it and how to get around it, okay? So I'm trying to help y'all because when y'all hit me up and y'all tell me that those are the things that I'm noticing are the issues between the difference between the people who come to me who sit down, I help them, and they become profitable and successful, and the people that don't. You know what I mean? There's there's more to the story. You know, as time progresses, I'll make these videos. I don't want to keep making these long form videos and y'all don't catch what I'm saying because for some reason, I have a lot of knowledge and I'm telling y'all something and it's getting overlooked by the glamour and glitz of Forex. And I'm not gonna cry about it because I don't want to sound like I'm crying. I just want to explain that, you know, listen to me, trust me. Because y'all keep asking me, how am I able to produce the results? No one, nobody, nobody i ran into traders for 30 years they not touching what i'm doing okay so i'm telling y'all now right now currently and this is not to be arrogant this is to be thankful to god i have not met a trader that could touch my trading skills so far in three years and i'm talking about 30 years a guy with 30 years we were like on the same level and i was actually out trading him okay so if y'all don't want to listen fine but go look through this channel Look at all the videos I've been posting over the last 16 months and you'll see how I progressed and grew and started learning and learning and learning. I just told y'all, Pyrex Vision 6 is coming out. If you have Pyrex Vision 5, you're gonna get the six for free, right? I just added the fair value gap strategy to the robot just to show people that the way that I trade is way superior to that strategy. I ain't knocking it though. That strategy serves a purpose. What is the purpose that it serves? If you wanna take a profit from challenge and you're a scalper, if you're training on that five to 15 minute, that's a great strategy to use. I'm not gonna sit up here and bash people who trade gaps and trade fair value gaps and trade supply and demand, because guess what? It does work. Does it work on a level of produce the results that I get? No, but that don't mean it's a bad thing. Some Everyone's not gonna be an intraday or swing trader. See, I'm not gonna get up here and bash these guys, but they'll bash what I'm telling you about indicators and and um you know uh robots and stuff why because the other way is gonna make you lose see what i'm saying so wake up i keep trying to wake y'all up with these videos this content i've been giving y'all for the last maybe month and a half i've been really exposing a lot of stuff that people are not talking about so I advise you share this while you can because i'm telling y'all now there are people who are telling me hey take this little bread and go away hey hey we, we, we want the rights to the stand a third you go sit down and go work for us now you can't make me go back to working for somebody if y'all would have came with a better approach i probably would have accepted those nice offers but y'all making it sound like i'm going to work for y'all and y'all telling me what to do by telling me what to not do so that was a problem for me sell my company sell my um strategy and don't produce for the public produce for them y'all so i work for y'all y'all giving me a check to tell me what to do nah but anyway it's your boy Jimmy, man. I hope this video finds you in good health, you know, and I hope it's helpful to y'all. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're one of the new people coming around, uh, please go back through the back catalog. I promise you I gave you a lot of information. If I have videos that I deemed unhelpful and uninformative, I actually took those videos down. So when you look through the backlog of all these videos, I promise you there's some kind of gems in all of them because that's why I left them up. The ones that I felt like I was misspoke or I was uneducated properly on what I was talking about, I actually took time and removed those. Okay, so enjoy the content. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, like I said, if you're new. And I'm going to get out of here. And I don't want to make this video too long. Peace.